Or we return now to the story that we've been all over today, financial regulation and the veil of secrecy just uncovered in the bill that protects the SEC. Remember, this was a bill that was supposed to lead to transparency in financial matters. Republican Congressman Scott Garrett of New Jersey works very closely with the SEC and joins us now to wait. Did you know that they had this provision that essentially protects the SEC from any, any inquiring minds, Congressman? Well, here's, here again is the problem that you get into when you're dealing with a 2,000-page bill, and just like with the infamous uh, health care bill when Speaker Pelosi said, uh, well, we have to pass it before we know what's in it, and even Chris, uh, Senator Dodd said the same thing with regard to, this, with regard to Finn Reg. Uh, no one know, knew the uh, exact magnitude of some of the provisions that were just flying through uh, at the last, uh, last wee hours of the morning. That's why a lot of us Republicans are saying, hold on, slow down, and vote no on this thing. Well, you know how we found out, Congress? We, we have had yeah. a long-running yeah. attempt to get information from the SEC, from the Federal Reserve, and from the Treasury Department. We've been very successful yeah. at getting a lot of information. We were in court yesterday, and our attorney was told in court that this provision protected the SEC from inquiry by the press or any, any other taxpayer who wants to find out where their money's going. Uh, that's not a way to find out about these things, is it? Absolutely. No, it's not. I mean, absolutely, that was never should have been in the bill to begin with. And I'm sure if I had standing beside me right here, one of the Democrats who voted yes on the bill, they would probably say that they never knew about it either. And once they're given the chance to explain themselves away, they would probably say that is not the intention of it. Um, Trying to put the best face on something that I did not support, um, you could probably say, well, this is to try to make sure that information that is um, confidential information as far as a broker-dealer has and what have you, that, that that should not become public in the normal course of a FOIA yeah, request. Yeah, but this, this, this is beyond, clearly this what's go, going on here is, that. yeah, this is, this is sort of a CYA provision. I mean, these guys are yeah. just trying to protect themselves from folks who want to see what they're really doing. The question now, though, is I know you didn't support it, but can we right. take it out now that it's law, that particular yeah. provision and others that we find objectionable? Well, well, there is the ultimate question. It's just what is our ability to go in and start stripping out of this bill so many of the problematic areas, whether it's the larger issues, the fact that we set up continuation of bailing out failed institutions or this, this provision, or how about the whole Office of uh, Information, which basically is, allows them to go in to look at all financial transactions, big and small, your use of the ATM and what have you, and also be its own little systemic regulator by itself. Here's our ability in those areas. As long as President Obama is in the White House, we're not going to be able to sign a bill or send him a bill that says, let's repeal all this. What we can do, though, is through the appropriation process, just like on the health care bill, where we're going to say, let's not fund these 16,000 IRS agents to enforce health care. We have some latitude and ability to say we will not... Um, support appropriation bills to fund, that's assuming that Republicans are the majority, we will not uh, uh, allow for funding of the enforcement or enactment of some of these provisions, such as the ones you're talking about here. Interesting game plan. Scott Garrett, yeah. representative from New Jersey. Great to see you, Scott. Thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate it. We will be Thanks right back.